The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of a subset of the spectrum modulator capability within Spectra. For more detail, you can refer to the Spectra reference manual located at our website, www.syntheticsound.com.au. Generator 1 and Generator 2 each have their own spectrum modulators. With the exception of the unison parameters, the spectrum modulators enable you to control, modulate, or modify the generator's waveform spectrum in real time. The principal design goal of the spectrum modulator section was to enable a user to easily create new dynamic and complex sounds and timbres. In this video, we will be focusing on the morph targets, multi-harmonic, and single harmonic modulators. The harmonic envelope, cross synthesis, and unison parameters will be described in the Spectrum Modulators 2 video. For some, the Spectrum Modulators may seem complex. In simple terms, the morphing feature in the Spectrum Modulator section is very similar to waveform crossfading and enables the user to blend two waveform spectra. The multi capability is similar to wave shaping and can provide results similar to wave table synthesis. The single functionality enables the control and modulation of a single frequency within the harmonic spectrum. All of the amount knobs in the spectrum modulator section are modulatable. In addition, you can also modulate which harmonic number is played for each single harmonic. Each spectrum modulator section has two morph targets. To set the morph target, select either morph target 1 or morph target 2 by clicking on the appropriate LED. Then in the selector, choose the spectrum you want to be the morph target. The morph target amount knobs control the amount of spectrum morphing applied. In this example, the generator's waveform spectrum is a square wave spectrum and it will be morphed with the granular spectrum in target 1. Note that at a zero setting you hear only the square wave spectrum, while at 100% you hear only the granular spectrum. Again, this can enable you to achieve results similar to wavetable synthesis. The available morph targets for target 1 and target 2 are identical to those in the generator's waveform spectra, and varying amounts of target 1 and target 2 can be applied in real time. This situation, together with the user-definable spectra, ensures an almost infinite palette of sound creation capability. Here is a simple example using the previous morphing example and adding in the ah formant spectrum via morph target 2. You can hear all three spectra within this single sound. Both of the target 1 and target 2 amount knobs are able to be controlled by modulation. This gives you a significant amount of control over shaping the tone and how it evolves. In this example, I'm going to use the XY controller to control the modulation amount of generator 1 spectrum modulator morphing. Notice I have the X value controlling generator 1's morph target 1 amount and the Y value controlling generator 1's morph target 2 amount. You may have noticed Morph Target 1 has two additional morph targets named SSeq1 and SSeq2. SSeq stands for Spectral Sequence. Spectral sequences enable you to create complex spectral wave tables and to also simulate pulse width modulation or even sync modulation. Spectra enables you to specify a spectral morph sequence for target 1 and to morph the output of the spectral sequence with the generator's waveform spectra.
As you can see in here, both Generator 1 and Generator 2 output are spectral morph sequences creating a rich evolving tone. Generator 1 is using Spectral Sequence 1, which morphs between Organ 2, Triangle, FM Piano, and Formant in a loop. Spectral Sequence 2 morphs between VoxM, Overtone 1, and New Age, also in a loop. Also note this patch has an FSeq. FSeq stands for Filter Sequence. In Benedict's Trimorph patch, Filter 1 is morphing between a 6 decibel low pass to a 12 decibel low pass resonant and then to a 6 decibel peak and then looping back to the start. Filter morph sequences will be covered in detail in the filters video. Creating a spectral sequence is relatively easy. First set the Morph Target 1 selector value to SSeq1 and set the Target 1 amount to 100%. This will enable us to hear the sequence as we develop it. Next navigate to the Sequence Editing screen in the editor. From the splash screen select the Sequence menu item. Before we start creating the spectral sequence, it's worth reviewing the elements of the sequence screen. At the top of the screen you will notice the caption highlighting we are editing Spectral Sequence 1 and also the mode. The sequence's mode determines how the sequence is controlled. In this instance, the sequence is time-based. You can make the sequence location modulation-based by selecting the modulated option instead of the time option. At the bottom of the screen are the navigation buttons. The Home button takes you back to the editor's Home or Splash screen. There are also four different morph sequences, SSeq1, SSeq2, FSeq1, and FSeq2. The FSeqs are filter morph sequences, and again, these will be covered in the filters video. The sequences are able to loop, and this can be specified by selecting the Loop option. Note that column 2 of the Spectrum Sequence table displays the loop start and the last column displays the loop end. Each loop sequence can be from 2 to 10 stages long with each stage having its own morph time. To add a stage to the sequence, simply press the Length Plus button. You can then specify the Spectrum target and morph time. To remove a stage, simply press the Length Minus button. To set the loop start, simply select the stage you want to be the loop start and press the Start button in the navigation bar. Notice column 2 of the selected stage now has an S in it. To set the loop end, simply select the stage you want to be the loop end and press the End button in the navigation bar. Notice the last column of the selected stage now has an E in it. Changing the spectrum of the sequence stage can be achieved by clicking on the spectrum cell of the stage you want to edit and dragging the value to the appropriate value. Modifying the morph time of the sequence stage can be achieved by clicking on the morph time cell of the stage you want to edit and dragging the value to the appropriate value. To control the sequence with a modulator, ensure the Target 1 selector is set to the appropriate SSeq1 or SSeq2 value and the Target 1 amount is any value except for 0 so that you can hear the morph sequence. Then select Modulated for the sequence mode. Finally, you must route a modulator to the appropriate spectral sequence in the modulation matrix. In this example, the mod wheel is being used to control spectral sequence 1 by 100%. The multi-parameter in the spectrum modulator section enables you to alter the generator's spectrum by increasing 
and decreasing the levels of multiple harmonics using the multi-amount knob. This is a powerful feature which enables you to simulate wave shaping or wavetable types of sounds. The preset multis enable you to alter one or more harmonics in real time and can be used as a tool for creating custom spectra. In this example, a sawtooth wave will be modulated or wave shaped to a square wave by reducing all of the even harmonics using the negative even setting as the selected multi. It should be noted the internal multis are programmed to not alter the fundamental or harmonic one of the spectrum. However, you can develop your own multis which attenuate or amplify harmonic one if you wish. Spectra also enables you to define your own multi-harmonic spectral modulator via the modulator section within the editor. To do this, select the modulator's menu item in the home or splash screen. Spectra enables you to define four different custom multis per patch. The multi screen is very similar to the spectrum screens except for the fact that the multis can have both positive and negative values. As you would expect, positive values in the multi accentuate harmonic values while negative values attenuate harmonic values. The caption bar in the multi view screen displays information about what you are editing. In this case, the caption bar is highlighting we are in view mode. View mode for all editors enables you to see the entire spectrum of all 256 harmonics at once. In this instance, multi 1 is being viewed with harmonic 1 currently selected. The magnitude or level of the selected multi harmonic is also displayed in the caption. On the left hand side is the magnitude scale. Note the multiscale's range is from negative 1 to 1 instead of 0 to 1 like in the spectrum editor. This display depicts how the amplitude of each harmonic within the currently selected user definable multi will be applied to the generator's waveform spectrum. The multi view screen displays all 256 harmonics with the fundamental frequency represented by harmonic number 1. You can select any harmonic by simply clicking on it. To begin editing this multi, select the Edit button. Note the Multi Edit screen displays a range of 64 harmonics relative to the selected harmonic. The scroll bar at the bottom shows your location within the multi and enables you to scroll through all 256 harmonics. To edit harmonics, you can select the harmonic you want to edit and holding the mouse button, drag the magnitude or magnitudes to the level you desire. Again, a positive value will accentuate the amplitude of a harmonic while a negative value will attenuate it. If you get to the end of the 64 harmonic window, pressing the resume button will recenter the currently selected harmonic. You can quickly set a harmonic value to any level in the left hand scale by selecting the harmonic and then clicking the appropriate value in the scale. To copy a single value across a range of multiple harmonics, select the harmonic which contains the value you want to copy. Click on the magnitude value in the caption. Notice how it remains highlighted. This is indicating you are copying the current value. Next click the selected harmonic again and while holding down the mouse button drag the mouse across the range of harmonics you want to set to this value. Releasing the mouse button stops the copy process and the magnitude value in the caption becomes unhighlighted. The standard reason undo feature also enables you to undo any unwanted edits. While editing multi-harmonics, you can set the editor to only apply edits to harmonics fitting a certain criteria within the edit setting. Selecting All will apply your changes to every harmonic edited. Selecting Non-Zero will only apply your edits to harmonics which are currently any value other than zero. 
The odd setting will only apply your edits to odd harmonics. The even setting will apply your edits only to the even harmonics. On completion of editing, the back button will take you back to the multi-view screen. The home button in every screen always returns you to the editor's home page or splash screen. A single parameter in the spectrum modulators enables you to alter the level of a single harmonic between harmonic 1 and harmonic 64 within the spectrum. Note that the single amount and the harmonic number can also be modulated. In this example, the LFO's sample and hold feature is modulating the single harmonic's harmonic number with silence as generator 1's waveform spectrum. One important thing to remember is the spectrum modulators are applied to the generator's waveform spectrum in series. This means that if morph target 1's amount is at 100%, you will not hear the generator's waveform spectrum. If morph target 2's amount is 100%, then you will not hear morph target 1 or the generator's waveform spectrum. You can also use the spectrum analyzer to capture the spectrum output of generator 1, generator 2, or generator 1 and 2, including all of the spectrum modulators applied, and use this spectrum as the starting spectrum in the generator's waveform spectrum. The spectrum analyzer is covered in more detail in the analyzer video.